<laughs> What's up? What's going on? How is it going? Ugh. <laughs> it's going that good, huh? The, the just the ugh. <laughs> wow. Did he? Did he? I think he paused. I think uh, he paused. He paused. Hello. There he is. I'm back. He's back. All right. Hey, let's just do this and let's uh, actually like. <laughs> You're listening to Trekcast. Oh my gosh, it just stopped. <laughs> 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 nice. Welcome back to a well-oiled machine. It's Trekcast. Dan, Chad, Daniel. Here we are. <laughs> Chad, I just figured you out, man. I just figured you out. What's that? I just figured out what type of guy you are. Oh no! You're, what? You're the type of guy who wears a T-shirt with his own face on it, <laughs> and, and then drinks mug. from a coffee mug with his own face on it, like a wow. pro wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking arrogant douche, but you know, that'll work. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I had to get one for myself. I mean, come on. It's too funny to walk around with this and have people ask, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. It's my Chad Waldo coffee mug. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> merchandising, merchandising. Merchandising! That's what it is. That's what it is. So no, it's, it's fun. Like... And, you know, now that I've got it, it's like, okay, this is too small. It's also backwards because my hair part's the opposite way of this graphic. So, you know, I'm nitpicking the hell out of my own thing. Mm. How's the shirt feel, though? <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's a regular Hanes shirt, so there's nothing crazy about it. It does shrink okay. quite a bit. So even though it's a double XL, it's not exactly large on me. So, mm. oh, well. But uh, it's okay. My wife wore it, and she said it's itchy. And uh, Trek cast the flamethrower. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? I could use I could use Trek cast the flamethrower. Yeah, right about yeah. now. Yeah, I still my my murder hornets came back. Oh, oh no! Uh, yeah, they got me again yesterday. <laughs> Gee, mini Christmas, man. Uh, same spot. Has it? <laughs> same spot. Other leg. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Well, we now have got a comet coming at us, so I mean, 2020 will be over pretty quick. Oh, We're not a comet, but an asteroid. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Well, yeah. as long as as long as it takes out the hornets, I'm I'm fine with it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think it's I've, gonna take everybody out. I've had enough. You yeah, know, I funny... didn't I didn't click on any of that. What, what's what's the actual story with the that? asteroid? Is it, is it clickbait garbage? Or... No, it's not clickbait. It, I don't think it'll hit us. It's coming really close though. So yeah. anytime anything comes within the orbit of the Earth and the Moon. That's close. And for the yeah. size of it, I mean, it's about the size of uh, what they say. It's about the size of like two buses. So, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not small, but it's also not like big yeah. either. But uh, I mean, if it hits, yeah, we're not we're not we're not sending Bruce Willis up there. It's no, not, if uh... it hits somewhere, it's probably going to hit in the ocean because <laughs> the ocean's two thirds of the planet. So, you know, or 70 percent, whatever. So it'll it'll cause some uh, it'll cause some damage, especially if it hits ground. But nothing cataclysmic. We'll be safe. We'll be safe because yeah. you know I'm wearing this. We have so. a mask, so you know funny statistic. <laughs> this uh, this will keep out this will keep out the the dust that's going to be yeah. kicked up by the yeah. but by the murder comet. Yeah, by the murder comet. The murder comet. <laughs> the murder Interesting comet. statistic: uh, more people died in California this week from the fires than they did of COVID in New York, and you still can't go to the restaurant, Dan. You know, I thought when I saw about the comet was coming, all I thought was maybe those Heaven's Gate people were right. And now they're just coming back. <laughs> they're coming back. Yeah. It's their yeah. Inferno now home, when we need them most, they're everywhere. coming back to help us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, man. Welcome to Cold Cast. Yep. <laughs> yep. So here we are again with more summertime blues. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, it's been a weird week, man. It has been a weird week. I tell you what, I, I spent the week in Green Bay. Uh, mm. That is a weird city. Yeah. Not only yeah. is Green Bay in the middle of nowhere, which okay, it's a it's a supposedly you know, just take a guess, guys. What do you think the population of Green Bay is? One hundred fifty thousand. Less. That might be the greater metropolitan area of, of, of Green Bay, if you can even call it a metro. 
Yeah. Actually, it's probably less than that. 104,000 mm. at Green Bay itself. And Lambeau okay. Field does not technically sit inside of Green Bay city limits. It's across the street. <laughs> nice. That happens all the time. It does. Yeah. You know, the, does. The, New, the New York Giants play in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest, the tallest building in the whole city is the top of the screens at Lambeau Field. Nothing yeah. else is taller than that in the whole damn city. That did, makes sense. Did, they got nothing going on. No. Did, they you know, did you know that the Las Vegas Strip is not in Las Vegas? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I figured it's that in out. Clark, like, it's in Clark years, County. Years ago. Yeah, it's yeah. In the town, part of it's in the town of Paradise, and uh, most of it is in unincorporated parts of Clark mm-hmm. County. Yep. Which is it's crazy. Because that's how they get away with the, with the gambling, right? Something like that? No, you can gamble in... in in, in the, the city, city. Yeah. you can oh, go okay. to when they say downtown Vegas, what they're talking about is is the actual city, right? We got right. you know the the smoking cowboy and and uh, mm. the golden nugget and all those. Places. How does the smoking cowboy go? Like this. <laughs> oh, okay. He's a little bit slower though, because <laughs> right, yeah, he's real he's slow. Robotic. Yeah. That's funny. But if the smoking cowboy was to fight the New York naked cowboy, who wins? <laughs> or the naked one? Because the smoking cowboy wouldn't want to. The him. naked the naked cowboy's not naked anymore. What? You didn't hear that? Yeah. No. Oh, he's got a mask on? He's got a mask? <laughs> he's got two. Is he wearing it over his crotch? <laughs> no, right now? No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been staying out of New York City. Yeah, I would too if I were you. With yeah. all this stuff going on, every time my boss calls me for availability, <laughs> I say, I have full availability statewide. I'll go anywhere you need me to go. Just don't send me to New York City. Right, right. <laughs> no interest. I wonder how many people told him that. <laughs> Probably a lot. Probably a lot. That's my guess. New York City is crazy right now. Oh. Neither that or they hear a, uh, I'm retiring. <laughs> that too. That's have, waves have of that. that it says, uh, ever since the Cats movie was released, all the problems started. <laughs> the Cats movie. <laughs> That was the end of times right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And it looked yeah. like it on film too. Anyway. All right. Uh, we're going to get right <laughs> into the news or? Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Attention all hands. It's time for Star Trek news. Take it away, Daniel San. Yeah. So our first news story comes to us from cinemablend.com. And the headline reads, Star Trek Zachary Quinto and more pay tribute to Ben Cross' death. So if you didn't hear earlier this week, uh, Ben Cross, he played Sarek in the 2009 reboot. Um, he died. It's, it's pretty sad. He yep. was a 72-year-old actor. Uh, he was also in the movie Chariots of Fire and the 90s show Dark Shadows. Um, uh, Spock 2.0 said that uh, he played... Um, ben Cross played Spock's father in our first... Trek movie, among uh, many other roles. He was also incredibly thoughtful and generous and engaging. It was my first film, and I always felt considered and cared for by him in our scenes together. So, rest in peace, dear Ben. Um, yeah, he was good. I, I liked him as Sark. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So did I. yeah. Um, also, uh, Marita Sirtis, uh, Anthony Starr, they all came out and, and, you know, gave their condolences. Uh, even uh, Alex Winter, Bill from Bill and Ted. <laughs> so I don't know if they work together, but, <laughs> you know, I, I don't remember Bill being in Chariots of Fire. No, so. <laughs> no. <I don't. laughs> yeah. You know what, though? You don't you don't know. I mean, sometimes you look at IMDb and you're like, wow, this guy was in that. Yeah. You, know, you don't you don't know what people did uh, yeah. before they were. Before they were discovered, before they were well known, so right. you know who who knows. Or even after, yeah. Sometimes you go and find, wow, she did what, or he did what? Like really? Jennifer Anderson was in the first Leprechaun movie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, that's right. She looked like she was twelve, but yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Our second news story comes to us from FoxNews.com. Oh, and my gosh. I know. The headline reads, Hell has frozen over. Daniel's reading a news article from <laughs> yeah. FoxNews.com on TrekCast. Oh, my oh, hold Lord. Hold on. Wait till you hear the headline, though. Holy oh shit. boy. Oh, boy. Judge's Star Trek ruling goes, quote, where no court has gone before in copyright <laughs> lawsuit. 
<laughs> yeah. The judge is making jokes in a lawsuit. Holy Jesus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, judge Jenny Denny Chin of the Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals borrowed some iconic language from the show's opening while issuing his decision on a case between CBS Broadcasting and a video game developer who claimed Star Trek Discovery borrowed his concept. So oh, this was he, this was the whole um, discovery the tardigrade, lawsuit, the yeah. tardigrade thing. Yeah, yeah. tardigrade. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as of right now, uh, quote today in the latest round of Star Trek related litigation, we are asked to boldly go where no court has gone before. Chin uh, wrote in a panel of three appeals George uh, judges <laughs> who decided the case. Um, yeah, blah, blah. Basically, he's saying <laughs> they didn't they didn't rip them off. Yeah, no, it's done. And I don't know. I don't know. You think this? You think this judge was sitting in his chambers, typing up this decision, just laughing to himself, like, yes. "Oh my god, I'm gonna make yeah. I'm gonna make a Star Trek joke." Yeah, yeah. I get to finally say something about it in court, open court. Yeah, the jury is set to stun with my decision. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he didn't say that, did he? No, no, no. But <laughs> god, I hope so. I really hope so. Oh man, I mean that would just be a total. Alert. Nerd alert. I've been dying to play that sound effect forever. He's like, he's like, I could issue a ruling, or we could have a trial by combat. We had a trial by combat. Yeah, <laughs> this week. Oh, that would be great. And finally, our last news story comes to us from Star Trek. dot com. Um, I don't know if this is good news, bad news, whatever you want it to be. Star Trek Short Treks now streaming on YouTube. <laughs> so for uh for the month of august up until the 31st you can find them on youtube on the um cbs all access youtube all the trek casts are there or, or uh short treks are there <laughs> including um they're both there trek casts ones. and short casts they're all there yeah. they're short all there cast? from what's last what's year. short cast short <laughs> short cast yeah. short it, it's, it's my podcast <laughs> it's me being short <laughs> If you didn't know, there's plenty of Trek on YouTube, just, just to let you know. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. is there is there um, their streaming service? Uh, it was YouTube Red, and then it was YouTube Premium. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that going away? Well, they've got YouTube Live or YouTube TV, where you can subscribe for 50, 60 bucks a month. Get a bunch of channels as well as anything in YouTube with no, no uh, commercials, so... That's what they've kind of pivoted to. Um, okay, because I saw that um, I saw an article that said uh, Cobra Kai season three is not going to be on YouTube. It's, yeah, it's going to Netflix. It's going to Netflix. So I didn't know if YouTube was, you know, getting out of that. No, I mean, because that was like their flagship show when they when they launched that thing. I thought right. I thought that they're not making any more any more uh, premium content. That they're just gonna that might do be the, the live streams and stuff like that. Yeah, and that okay. might be the case because Google Fiber kind of got rid of their TV service where it's just internet now, and so they're. I think what they're doing is they're going to kind of bundle those things together, where you can get fiber for, for from Google for seventy bucks a month, and if you want to get live TV uh, and channels, then you just add the YouTube thing on top of it instead of mm. going through their their Google uh, Fiber TV where it was you know channels that way. I think that's what they're doing. So. So you guys must really like the short tricks to not even talk about them at all. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, we talked about it last week. Like we said, I yeah, mean, honestly, yeah, yeah, there's a few fine. good ones that would be fun to watch again. But uh, yeah. for the most part, I have no interest whatsoever. I'd rather watch something else. So yeah. I'd rather watch Lower Decks. I'd rather watch. Uh, I am going to rewatch Discovery um, over again. I'm going to try. I'll put it that way. I might skip a few episodes <laughs> here and there um, before we get into uh, season three. Because, you know. Why not? I'm hopeful for season three, because because why not, right? Everything else this year has been holy shit. So why can't this be one good thing? Who knows? So right. I can't. I I don't know if we talked about it last week. Um, but what what's the new show with Pike? Brave Brave New Worlds. Strange New Worlds. Strange New, Strange New Worlds. New Worlds? Okay. Yeah. Saw so an article that said they're they're going back to the uh, story of the week. Yep, they are that. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yep, they are. They've said that several times now. Uh, just about they, every way. They heard me. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> they, they said there's going to be some two-parters as well. So yeah, well, sure, there has to be some cliffhangers yeah, from one season to the next. Some two-parters here, maybe an overarching story that kind of is over the top of everything, just like the Borg were always something over the top in yeah. in TNG. You know, that's fine. Um, you go back to that format, and I bet you, uh, audience just loves the shit out of it. So yeah. It looks good. It's just fine. It's okay to have Discovery be this this whole story arc over one season. It's okay for Picard to be that way. Um, and it's okay for Strange New Worlds to to go back to the way it was originally created um, mm-hmm. with the episodic. It's fun to have all these different different variations of Trek. I'm good with it. Mm-hmm. I'm good with the diversity of it. You know? Yeah. Even though some episodes are total shit. I'm still <laughs> good with it. There's total shit episodes of TNG, too, guys. I mean, you know. So. Yeah, for sure. But, you don't like You don't like Code of Honor? Uh, Shades of Grey? Come on, yeah, man. Yeah. What, what's the one where they're all addicted to the video game? Oh. Oh, yeah. Wesley's. That's bad that one. Oh, God. Uh, I forget the name of that one, but yeah, that's pretty know. bad. Doesn't Obviously. matter. It had, it had Ashley Judd in it, so I love it. Yeah, that's true. Go. <laughs> Which was the one that had the girl that looked like Linda Hamilton that everybody always uses the meme for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was uh, Yar's sister, right? Oh, well, yeah, that's right. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Then there's the um, Okana guy. Um, the what was it? What was it? The uh, Okana, Okana the guy. Um, you know the Han Solo. Oh, he played. Uh, he played the Rocketeer, didn't he? Yeah, that guy, the Rocketeer. Yep. 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 That's his name. He changed his name to the Rocketeer. That's all he's. That's like, all he's done. Yeah. He's like, fuck it. Nobody's gonna know my name, no matter right. what. <laughs> so. And everybody thinks I'm Brandon Fraser's uh, stunt double, so I might as well. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that poor guy. All he can yeah. do is get a movie with a with a show that where he has to wear a mask all the time and no one knows it's him. <laughs> Doom Why, what is he? Oh, is, is, that, st- is that still a thing? That it's DC still a thing. Channel yeah, it's still a thing on okay. HBO Max. Yeah, on HBO Max. So now they got rid HBO of the, Max. They got rid of all the the DC channel and it's all going to HBO. I love yeah. that's what it seems like. It's showing that's up on my HBO like. Max all of a sudden now. I don't know <laughs> if there's going to be another season or not, but he's the big giant guy with the. I don't know what the hell he is. I haven't watched one of those shows yet. Because there's all these DC shows that I've never seen: Doom Patrol, yeah. Swamp Thing, Titans. You know, I've you never seen any of, any of them. Star, no. Star Girl. Star Girl. You know, I watched one episode of Star Girl, <laughs> and Paul, was it Paul Wilson who plays the dad? Um, so his name it's, is it's it's Owen Wilson's brother. The other one. yeah, yeah, one of the Wilsons. Um, yeah, and it was it, it was so cheesy and so bad. Um, I watched it anyway because I had nothing else to do in a hotel room. Uh, but it was just so bad. I mean, I almost feel embarrassed for that girl that plays Star Girl. But anyway, moving on, dude. Speaking of DC, that Batman trailer. Ah, uh, okay. Let's talk about that for a minute. Oh my Holy goodness. shit! That was a trailer. I really now now I'll be the first one to say we do not need a reboot of Batman. We do not need to see Batman begins all over the Batman. How dare all you. of yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't need to see it all over again. But man, after watching that trailer, it's like, ooh, that's really good. Right? That's really good. And what's crazy to think about is they still have weeks of shooting to go. Like that's only what they shot before yeah. COVID. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It looks really good. Looks I mean, if it if it if it maintains that level of intensity for the whole movie, that'll be a great it's Matt movie. Reeves, man, I bet it does. I bet it does. He does great. Yeah. So it looks I, pretty I'm good. Just a lot. It now, oh, I guarantee the Riddler is not the serial killer. So is it the Riddler and it's the Penguin? That's the two I, that are I, in it. My, my guess is like he's going to be going through the underworld, like, hey, tell me what's going on, you know, that kind of deal, like interrogating them. Yeah. So, like, he may go visit Penguin. He may go visit um, Catwoman, but ultimately, he's he's after whoever's doing these murders. Right. And, and I think they're trying to frame the Riddler, but it's not the Riddler. Yeah, I know they said it's going to be more um, based on the Batman's kind of uh, detective side Halloween, of things, which yeah. is one of the main comics. Yeah. Oh, the Long Halloween. That's what it's based on. Yeah. 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 Wow, I read that like. Yeah, a long time ago. I and can't remember. And that one's remember. got a twist where you think it, one guy's the killer and it's really somebody yeah. else. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be the same deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks really good. Looking forward to it. That'll be great. I'm just looking forward to being able to go to a movie theater and watching a movie. Um, yeah. Oh, they're they're up come back up over here. Yeah, they're supposed to do some limited stuff here to AMC's around. I just don't know what the hell they're going to show. You know, I want to see something new. I want to see Tenet. You know, I want I want to see uh, something different. I don't want to see uh, a reboot. A retread. Obviously, the Batman's going to be that, but whatever. 
Yeah. Dude, I'm so down for that new uh, Bill and Ted. Like, I'm ready to... <laughs> I'm going to pay for the premium and rent it at my house, and I don't looks care. looks so stupid. It oh, is, I, I love those can't. ones. <clears throat> I mean, they both look like they're ancient, you know, <laughs> and still That's talking perfect. the way they did 40 years ago or 30 years ago, whatever it was. Well, I, I have not seen either of the original movies. It's just what? not something... It's yeah. just not something I ever got around to. Yeah. Um, I do know a little bit about them. I know George Carlin was in them i'm a big george carlin fan yeah but also i know that william sadler was in them Uh and apparently he's returning to his role as he was like the grim reaper or something right yeah 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 so that's cool they got him back yeah i mean it'll be interesting but i don't know it just looks it just watching the trailer i'm like holy crap and for anyone who doesn't know william sadler he played uh sloan on deep space nine section 31 just trying to 31. just trying to tie this tie this back yep. into star trek yeah bit. yep <laughs> yeah let's do that let's uh do we have Good anything feedback. do we have anything for feedback yeah let's yeah. Have frequencies open i can never hit that right so so i posted in the group that we were recording and yep. i had a great question well i think is i'm biased uh the question is is the Kool-Aid man the jar or the liquid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is the Kool-Aid man the jar or the liquid? Holy crap. Right? Yeah. Well, he's the jar. What do you think he's but, the jar? But, that, but then he would be jar man. It wouldn't be Kool-Aid right. man. <laughs> well, if he's just he's the there. <laughs> broke Chad. <laughs> if he's just the kool-aid then he's always spilling some of himself out, out every time he walks around and then like eventually he just dies so like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it doesn't matter it's the I most think, nonsensical fucking question <laughs> i both. think he's, he's like both. uh he's like one of the founders yeah he's a shapeshifter <laughs> there's dan trying to bring it back <laughs> into track in some way shape or form he's a shapeshifter you know odo had odo had that bucket in his yeah. quarters right yeah. You know, the Kool-Aid man, he is a, he is a big jar but he's with got handles legs and legs. Yeah. But yeah, Odo doesn't well, break into people's homes by smashing their walls <laughs> and going, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was hell, yeah. That was the synth. Yeah. Hell you couldn't yeah. hear it, Daniel? I couldn't hear it. It's a little, that one's a little quiet. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, Taryn says that the Kool-Aid man is both. And who wonders what Janeway would do? Would she separate the liquid from the jar? <laughs> oh, now I really wish I had something of Janeway saying a tea or coffee or I'm, coffee or something. Now I can't help but picture the Kool-Aid man running around the bridge going, you have no right. I have the right to exist. <laughs> I'm a funny. drink. I'm a delicious drink. <laughs> I, I think if, if anyone, Janeway would make the crew drink the Kool-Aid, you know? <laughs> Well, she did, and that's why in uh, the first season of episode, uh, first episode of season two, uh, she she somehow managed to make them all stay instead of leaving and living on the planet with the thirty sevens. So they drank the Kool Aid early. Mm-hmm. That was supposed uh, to be what Brennan episode seventeen or eighteen of Voyager. Blood, but, what say that again? Pictures is skin. Pictures is skin. Kool Aid. Yeah. Blood. <laughs> that's a little dark. <laughs> that is a little dark. Yeah. That is a little dark. Yeah. <laughs> and and Paris says both you cannot separate the body or the blood and he dies. <laughs> so wait a minute, then what is the mix that you use to make the Kool-Aid? It's the midichlorians for his Jedi powers. <laughs> I don't know. Man. <laughs> That's a great answer. And with that, we're off of this topic. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. We have managed in in the in the span of what? Uh 25 minutes to talk about DC, Star Wars, Star Trek, certain episodes and series, uh, Bill and Ted. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's all over the place. We are just oh, we talked uh, about cults. <laughs> talk delicious, about what? Delicious cult. sugary drinks. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Heaven's Gate cult. The Heaven's Gate cult, yeah. Good grief. <laughs> we are all over. Okay, anything else in the feedback? <laughs> Yeah, that's all I had. Yeah, we didn't have any donations this last week. We didn't have any uh, emails, no voicemails. Uh, so you guys got to keep those coming. 
888-888-0448. I finally memorized our own freaking phone number. There you go. So, Caller number uh, seven gets t- concert tickets. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay. Call in now. It's it's not free to call. We'll, we'll make about 10 bucks every time you spend about 30 seconds leaving us. A, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a great way to do that. No. Yeah, but if you call, you get to hear my heavy breathing. Yes. They, <laughs> for that, we should for that do $10. That. We should, yeah. <laughs> we should change the voicemail over to that. It's a funny voicemail that I have in there. But anyway, um, we should change that to where it's just uh, Dan's uh, CPOD breathing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to our topic. Talking about Star Trek and this week's topic. Yeah, and all you have to do to get rid of your breathing, Dan, is to have that mic just up where your eyeball is as opposed to down where your mouth that's, is. And that that's where it is. Care. Yeah, that takes care of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. So, perfect. I haven't heard it once, so. <laughs> no, it's more like. <laughs> and then when Daniel would talk really fast, you'd be like this. <laughs> Frustrated. <laughs> In my mind, I'm going, shut up, Daniel. You don't know what you're That's talking right. about. <laughs> Wrestling's stupid. <laughs> what? What is this damn WWE Hall of Fame thing for? We're getting a takedown notice from YouTube because of you. I know. I'm <laughs> oh, oh, my man. gosh. Okay, so obviously we're talking about what? Is it episode three? Temporal Grace. Edict? Yeah. Lower Decks? Yeah. Uh, I laughed. So this is probably the funniest one so far. Um, because obviously, you know, we know what the tenor of the show is. We kind of know what, what they're going to do. And, uh, in terms of how serious they're going to take things or not serious, they're going to take things. But I mean, you talk about throwing out so many tropes at once, uh, buffer time. That's hysterical. Um, obviously there's a, a nice little ending uh, to this whole thing. That's just funny as shit because everything in the show's canon. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> is it though? Have they said that? They've said yeah, that they've several said that. times. This yeah. is this is a funny show, but it's a serious show. And what happens in here is actually part of canon. So I think they're gonna end up walking that back at some they point. They might. They Probably. might, especially with the uh, the ending. We'll get to that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Like what do you guys think? I laughed I laughed the hardest during this one than the other two. What about what about you guys? It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. You I know uh, what to expect now, so yeah, I'm kinda like eh. I, I don't take it too seriously. So, like, the storylines, no. really, you know, I'm, I'm here for the jokes. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. And they were they were pretty funny. Uh, I didn't realize it till till this episode, finally. But um, Baumler. Yep. Well, yeah. Boimler. Yeah. Boimler. That's um, Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan's son. Yes, it is. Yeah. Jack Quaid. Jack Quaid. Yep. Who's also in The Boys, if you guys watch that. I have not watched that yet. I keep telling myself I'm going to watch it, and I just never, I never get time. It's not for kids. I'll tell you that now. No, I know it's not. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's, that, that's starring uh, what's his name from the reboot of uh, JJ's Trek. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All man. I mean, that guy is uh, Carl Urban. Uh, Carl I'll Urban. watch anything Carl Urban's in. So I, I keep meaning to watch the boys. I just never get time. I you finished like the Umbrella it. Academy really film, like so it. I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Yeah. So if you like that, you should watch the Umbrella Academy. I don't know if you watched that on Netflix mm-hmm. yet, but that's just a phenomenal show. Yeah, I finished that this week while I was out of town. So now I've got time for the boys. It's like that and The Expanse. Those are the two I need to be watching. Yes, you need to be watching The Expanse. That is a hell of a show. But yeah, no, I I love this episode. I thought it was hilarious. I like the uh, Ransom was doing the double axe handle fight. Oh, man. (laughs) The funny little thing there is, you know. He rips his shirt off. Yeah, Yeah. he's so, he's he's just such an ass. But um, somehow Mariner, uh, like, Kind of like, oh my gosh, she's really doing it. Oh wow, look at those yeah. muscles. I mean, she starts to kind of like she's into it. She's into it, yeah. Even though he stabs her in the foot with a. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't done that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He thinks he's going to get court martialed when they're back up on the ship, and she's like, "No, I'm not going to turn that in." And he's like, "Okay, great. Now I'm arresting you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> and then he's like excited by that. So I think there's going to be a little bit of a funny thing between those two. Yeah, I think so for sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's I thought cool. it was I thought it was funny how the B the B storyline, which I guess it was the B storyline, the uh, the whole buffer time yeah thing, yeah. and uh, you know just to review buffer time is you know if the captain says I need you to fix the 
the such and such, you tell the captain. If it'll take you 20 minutes, you tell the captain it'll take you an hour. Yep, so that you, right. can, you can dick around for 40 minutes afterwards or take your time doing it. And they put a name to it. They call it buffer time. Yeah, this is a long-standing and, thing in well, I was, track. Well, I was going to say that this whole thing is based on a joke between Scotty uh-huh. and and Jordy from the episode Relics. When yep. Picard, Picard calls down and says, I need the warp drive fixed. How long will it take? Three hours. All right, get on it. And Scotty asks him, how long is it really going to take? Well, it's going to take three hours. No, you don't tell him that. You tell him it'll yeah. take nine hours, and Daddy, then you do it. In, you say that, yeah. And then you do it in three, and then he thinks you're a miracle worker. Yeah. So I thought it was funny how they took you know one one thirty five year old joke. Yep. And turned it into a whole episode. Yeah, hey, I, thought good that, I thought that was for the cool. World. Yeah, <laughs> it is good advice. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the great thing about this show that they can do on this show that you really couldn't do to this level. Uh, yeah, to this level anyway. Um, mm-hmm. They can take every trope and turn it on its head. They can take everything, every little yeah. tiny one thing, one liner here and there, and just rip it to shreds. And like you said, turn it into an entire show. This show, I felt like, did not have a B plot. I felt like it had an A plot and a second A plot because they both took up about as much time. Yeah. yeah. About as much time on the planet and about as much time on the ship. Um, so... You know, it's uh, that was kind of interesting. There's really two stories instead of like an A and a B plot or an A and a B and a C even, like they did the last episode. Um, there's more like two. But uh, no, I thought, it, I thought it was hysterical. And of course, everybody's losing their mind trying to keep up with things, and Boimler's doing just fine. <laughs> He's loving right. it. You know, <laughs> of course you would. So Yeah. No, I, th- I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited for the next one. Have so. we seen uh, have we seen those that race before? I don't think we've seen that race before uh, anywhere in Trek. That's no, new... I'm, I'm I'm guessing they're making up a lot of these. They probably are. I mean, which you'd have to. There's thousands, right? So I mean, there's right. going to be plenty. Um, there's plenty to pick from uh, or make up anyway, and still have plenty of room for everything else. Mm-hmm. And I think the their sworn enemy is a new one too. I hadn't heard. I don't think I've heard either one of those before. No, I did kind of familiar. find it funny uh, how at the end uh, the security guy is down on the planet and he's kind of getting all chummy with the one guy and, and, and making fun of the, uh, the wood, uh, sex totem. That's what yeah. it was. <laughs> I wonder if we'll see what, what was that? Um, remember in DS nine, they'd always talk about the, the captain with the transparent skull. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah and now Bode. they can do it in the animated. Yep. Yeah. Captain Bode. We should do, they should do that. I mean, because you can, you can't. Well, and that's another thing they talked about with, uh, that I read earlier this week too, about strange new worlds in the episodic format and the alien of the week. You know, they can do that there too, live action wise, where the aliens can be a Captain Bode. And it's not hard to do now compared to, yeah. you know, right. 30 years ago, 20 years ago, it, you can really go nuts with it and, uh, make, make that diversity all over the place. Mm-hmm. That's one great thing about discovery. Um, that I've liked uh, so far anyway, was that there was, you could see, there's so many different alien races on the ship. Whereas before, right. it didn't quite ever feel like that. It just felt like a bunch of white yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Even, just, even just the last 15 years. I mean, when did, uh, was it 2005 that uh, Enterprise went off the air? Something oh, like yeah, that, something right? 2004, yeah. 2005, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you look at the CGI aliens in that, and they, you know, they don't hold up. No, no, they don't. So CG, just the last, just the eight, last, four, fifth, seven, just the last, fifth, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But just, just the last 15 years, you know, they've gotten so much better with the CGI. Yep. Big time. CGI aliens. <clears throat> it's gotten cheaper too, which makes it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Easy. Easy to throw in anybody at this point. So, and they should do that. They should even throw in something somewhere where they, you see a tribute to Nog, you know. Yeah, you know, I would you know, love some, if they did that. Yeah, some of the CGI I think has gotten too good. I was in uh, I was in a comic book store mm-hmm. down in Long Island last month when I was working down there, and the guy had Avengers Endgame playing mm-hmm. on the big screen. And I'm not a, I'm not a tech guy. I don't know what all this stuff means, but you know, it was a it was a Blu-ray. It was 4K. It was super high. I don't know. It was super high definition yeah and i'm and i'm watching it and it looked like a video game it didn't look like a movie yeah so it was so good that it didn't look good (laughs) right (laughs) so i think there comes a point where they're gonna have to start walking this stuff back a little bit 
Maybe. I mean, they're pushing 8K right now. That's the next thing. Your 4K TV is going to be obsolete. Mm. It'll be 8K. And I, mm-hmm. at that point, I'm not sure you're, you're visually, you can tell the difference uh, mm-hmm. unless the TV is huge. But, but, uh, they have prototypes and, of 12K in like the labs, but yeah, yeah. 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 I don't even know what that means. <laughs> the resolution, how many pixels per inch, basically. Yeah. Like high def is a thousand lines, 4K is 4,000 lines. Yep. Okay. 8, All right. Lines. Yeah, so eventually they'll get it so detailed that you'll be able to see someone's pimple they forgot to paint over. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the st- <laughs> awesome. Well, that's the problem. That's the problem that they talked about when they first came out with uh, high def, uh, and and when they were doing uh, even when they were doing the news in high def, it was like, mm-hmm. well, we're going to have to have people stand farther away. We're going to have to do something different with the makeup because you can see every little imperfection, whereas mm-hmm. before you couldn't. I mean, so it did change. You know, when when the when the high def turned and we started doing high def. We had to have um, a whole new makeup team come yeah. in and show the anchors how to do their makeup. Yeah, because they had to go do uh, uh, using an airbrush. <clears throat> oh jeez. Yeah, that sucks. Well, because no, would... because any other way you would see the clumps of see makeup. the line. Yeah, yeah. So they had to go airbrush. Yeah, I would not want to do that. Here, let me get my face painted literally every day. <laughs> it took longer too. Oh, I'm sure it does. And they had to go in there for like 20 minutes to get ready. So, all right. So we got all this technology mm-hmm. to make to make the image more lifelike. Uh-huh. And then we're going to put a bunch of shit on your face so that you don't look lifelike. Correct. Right. You look like you have a bunch of shit on your face. You look How does that real. make any sense? Yeah, yeah. None. That's that's what we do as human beings, though, Dan. This is what we do. Yeah. We yeah. have it's human we nature. Have a very easy going. Very, I mean, we could exist on this planet so easily, uh, but instead we find ways every day to entertain ourselves and complicate our lives. This is what we yeah. do. This Welcome is what human beings do. Guys. You know, I I, I rarely <laughs> you know I rarely buy movies anymore, physical movies. Yeah. But when I do, I don't even buy a Blu-ray. I'll buy yeah. a DVD. Yeah. For half the price, or yep. you know, sixty percent of the price, because it just it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Since the last movie you bought? The last movie I bought, I bought um, Spider Man Homecoming and Spider Man Far From Home. Okay. And this yep. was this was only about a month ago, because mm-hmm. my my son and I started with Iron Man and did ah. the whole and we did the whole uh, MCU. Oh, cool. Except for Captain Marvel, we we skipped that one. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that was the one that wasn't available on. Those two were not available on Netflix and not available on Disney Plus. So right. I just went to I just went to Walmart and and bought each of them for ten dollars or whatever. Yeah. So that was the last <clears> movie <throat> that I purchased. Actually, was uh, Far From Home, and that was digital because I don't purchase anything physical anymore, mm. as far as movies go. Haven't for. I'm Chad. I ain't pretty anymore. <laughs> so mine was stupid. <laughs> Literally, mine was like three weeks ago. Um, every now and then, the dollar store here sells Blu-rays. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they had the Blu-ray of like that weird, like 2007 Ninja Turtles cartoon movie, the one with Patrick Stewart in it. What? Yeah. Patrick oh. Stewart was in Ninja Turtles. Yeah. It, He's the villain or one of the main ones. Voiced it, right? Yeah, voiced it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So for a dollar, you know, I'll get the Blu-ray. Yep. Yeah, Yeah. just put it in there in your collection there behind you. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Have I watched it yet? Nope. It's there. Nope. For a buck, that's hard. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Not for me, but I could see that. (laughs) Yeah, for me. Mm. I only buy digital. <laughs> My name's Chan. I only buy digital. I don't buy physical media anymore because sometimes when they get scratched and they can't play them again, what are you going to do? And then every time you play... <laughs> <They're> close... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't know what's more fun, making fun of Chad or making Chad make fun of himself. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's better when he's wearing his own shirt. That's like, it, yeah. There's a meta like... thing going on here. It's like being yeah. inside of John Malkovich's head. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I tell you what, man, you know, Facebook tells you what you were doing a year ago and two years ago and three years ago. And, um, you know, I went to the Las Vegas Star Trek convention like three or four years in a row. Yeah. Ten ten years ago. 
So like every day last week, oh man, I'd wake up and Facebook is like, this is where you should be. So, you know, every, <laughs> every day. Yeah. Well, you know, I was really looking forward to meeting you guys and, and, yeah, and, yeah. and, and yeah. hanging out in person and, and meeting up with some of the listeners and throwing a yep. few back. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, it was, it was like 2020 kicked me in the nuts all over again every mm-hmm. day last week. So that's yeah, too bad. Well, hopefully we'll have next year. Hopefully. So I say that because I'm sitting here giving, Chad loads and loads of shit. <laughs> but it's because I miss, person, right? I miss you, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've never that's met we, you, but what, I miss you. That's what guys, that's what guys do, right? If if they're yeah. friends, it's like those are the two who give each other yep. the most shit. That's yep. just the way it goes. Yep. That's exactly you know, how it goes. That's just the way it is. <laughs> yeah. You know? It's so funny. Uh my best friend since all the way back in fifth grade, that's how we started becoming friends as we got into a fight yeah. on the playground. Beat yeah. the crap out of each other. Best friends ever since. So, <laughs> did we just become best friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't quite happen like that, but uh, but yeah. <laughs> and then your much. your mom married his dad, and, and you guys got bunk beds. <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't they still like have them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, um, December is what they're looking at. That's what that? they're looking at. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Initially, okay. I was like, I'm not going in December. But the more I think about it, yeah. I'm I'm going to see if I can make it work. I've got cause... time off that I can take for it. So it's just a matter of the timing with the rest of the family and everything else going yeah. on at yep. work. Because that's usually, even <clears throat> though I've shifted jobs, I'm still in sales. And yeah. that fourth quarter is always the busiest yeah. in manufacturing. Mm-hmm. So it just, it just is. So we'll see with things being kind of slow uh, in this quarter and next quarter, I'm sure they'll still be slow. Um, that yeah. might give me a window, but we'll just play by ear. I mean, yeah. I might not even know until three weeks ahead of time. Mm. So we'll just play it by ear. All right. So we'll, I guess we're done talking about lower decks. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good episode, but I mean, you know, sometimes you just can't talk about it for 27 minutes on a 26 minute show, right? But right, right, we right. we've got to cover the ending, okay? So at the end of this, we see in a classroom far into the future, mm-hmm. um, students learning about the Boimler. Was it the Boimler principle? Yeah, which is slack. Which is yeah, which is slack time, slacker. which is the exact yeah. opposite of what he is, which is hysterical. How they kind of threw that over on its head. Mm-hmm. But of course, then at the end of that little lesson, they say, and of course, we got to learn about the most important man in Starfleet history, and it's a statue of Miles O'Brien. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait for the transporter. Yeah. I mean, he's just standing in front of a transporter pad, is what that statue looked like. You're right. So, yeah. like, what is that about? Like, because <laughs> there's all they... those memes that it's like, the the Miles O'Brien coloring book and it's just a thousand pages of him standing there. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. That's that's what they're making fun of. Are they yeah. just trolling that, or are they actually yeah. gonna like at some point? Do you think at some point they'll just go in and like actually like drop a one liner hint of something that he did? No, because they're they're all they're point they're they're just pointing out that in TNG he was just in the room the entire time. Yeah, yeah. that's and all. Yes, nine. He was the man. So. Right. <clears throat> Someone did a cartoon uh, mock-up of him standing at the uh, controls, but it's all of his different characters from DS9, even though he's just standing in front of the transporter uh, pads. Mm-hmm. And it's the, the the bushy gray hair from the prison time. It's the <laughs> it's the perfectly polished, almost uh, silicon look of like the the doppelganger he played of himself. Mm-hmm. He played of himself. Um, there's like four or five different versions of Brian. It's just pretty funny. Yeah, but all in the cartoon character characterizations of lower decks is pretty good well and what's fun to think is that he he was in the old west with pike in deadwood yeah that's right he was. oh that's right yeah. oh and they had a version of him a smiley no no no, no no that was uh was that was him in deadwood, deadwood? yeah no, it was Colin rolling and... yeah no, 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 no it wasn't deadwood it was uh hell on wheels oh hell on wheels okay yeah yep all right yeah, well that... i get those two confused but yeah yeah, because Deadwood was was Deadwood on HBO. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, Hell on Wheels. That's what it was. Yeah. I am looking forward to that. Uh, I am. I'm looking forward to Strange New Worlds. I think that'll be good. But yeah. 
Okay, so is that it for uh, this episode it, of Lower Decks, Temporal Edicts? Yeah. I think, I think that's, I mean, there's really not much else. I mean, it's a funny, it was a funny episode. We see the two of them fighting on the planet against the uh, the big guy who's really the smart one and no one listens to, and <laughs> Ransom beats the crap out of him, which was great with his double, you know, double fist hits. Yeah. Mariner well, okay, kind of let falls me ask you this question. Him. Ransom falls in love with her. They show now, each other. Well, he shows her, in. she shows him her scars, which I thought was funny because yeah. we get to see cartoon brawls again. She's pretty, she's pretty hot for cartoon. There you go. Yeah, she is. She is. Um, so for we're three weeks in. For those people who have not paid for CBS All Access, is it worth the subscription to watch this show? No. No? No. I'd wait. I'd wait. It's a half hour a week. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I don't care. I don't care what they say. It's not canon. <laughs> and even if it is canon, they're not going to do anything on there that has any lasting effect. Even if it is canon, there's not going to be any major repercussions probably. for you know the rest of the the rest of the shows. I so would... for that for that reason, wait two months, sign up, sign up to watch Discovery, and uh, you know. You can watch these on the side. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would I would agree with that. My only caveat there though is is I mean there's every there's a ton of Star Trek <clears> on <throat> CBS all access to watch. Not the movies, obviously. Or at least there's one or two anyway. But all the episodes are there. TOS, TAS, all of it, all the way up to uh lower decks now. So, you know, if you're gonna watch all your trek on CBS All Access, then that's definitely worth it. Mm-hmm. Um if you if you don't have Netflix or you're not gonna have Netflix. Mm. Uh, or Amazon or whatever else, but uh, well, I guess Netflix is the only place you can get um, all of the uh, television shows any- anyway. So, who doesn't have Netflix at this point? I, I feel for you. <laughs> <If> you <don't. laughs> I right. saw a meme. I saw a meme the other day that mm. said, "I told a kid at work that I used to get Netflix through the mail." Oh yeah, <laughs> 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 and I'm pretty sure he thinks I'm full of shit or something, yeah. Yeah. Or something like that. So, so I would say this for CBS All Access. I'm I'm gonna paraphrase the great movie Friday, and say, <laughs> "You ain't got no job, you ain't got shit to do, so might as well just watch the show." Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if it was the episode or the preview for the next episode, but they said something about the the Great Bird of the Galaxy. Was that? Is that part of the that. episode or was that part of the preview? I think that was the preview. Yeah. Well, that's, what that's was a nick- the preview for? I that's forget. a nickname. I don't. I don't remember either. But that's uh, that's a nickname for Gene Roddenberry. It's the Great Bird of the Galaxy. Oh. oh. So I'd be interested to see what that ends Did not up know that being. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. Warning! Warning! There you go. <laughs> Nerd alert. Nerd alert. You know. This is why I, we're I here, man. I know. <laughs> Just because Sorry. you know something I don't doesn't mean you're a nerd, but I'm going to play it anyway. Right. <laughs> now, do you have that on disc or in you, your you, physical media? <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, though, to, to think about that time when I used to get Netflix DVDs in the mail, because I did. Yeah. I used to get I used to be able to get two a month in the mail. And that's yep. just Everybody that sounds did. so foreign and so weird now. Yeah. Like, could you imagine trying to watch a that television series like that? No, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago you didn't even have this. It yeah. wasn't that long ago that you had pagers. Well, that was yeah. probably a long time ago. Could you imagine trying to get a VHS in the mail? Like if Netflix is that old? Yeah. <laughs> that would that would be weird because they'd get screwed up every time they I mean, you'd have to have some yeah. padded some padded suckers for that, but mm-hmm. and then when you get it, you'd have to rewind it and wait for it. Oh to yeah. Be- you know, did you ever have like one of those like uh, rewind stations that was just like a car or something like that? Yeah, just to rewind them. Yeah, I used to, yeah. I used to have to do that blockbuster. I worked at blockbuster yeah. for a year and a half. Uh, and What's my wife the blockbuster? Was my was my boss. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We had like a whole station of like four or five of those. You just sit there and just go to town on them. Mm-hmm. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyway. Well, well, I guess All right. that's, I guess that's the, show. the show. Yeah, nothing else to go over at this point, right? Yeah. Well, we're doing this weekly. It's okay if it's a little bit shorter. So we still managed to go fifty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Normally we go like an hour or so, so it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. And it, and it is fine if we have like a 30, 40 minute show. I'm sure no one's going to complain about that. So Yeah, exactly. It took us a little while last week to get the uh, audio version out. A little snafu there, but we got the video yeah. out right away. So it is what it is. Indeed. <laughs> All right. All right. How can they reach That's us? the motto for 2020. It is what it, it is. is. What it is. Yeah. Well, yeah, Michelle Obama even said it. So, um,. <laughs> Everybody's been saying it, dude. Everybody's been saying it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so you can reach us on Instagram, TrekCastTNG, Twitter, TrekCastTNG, email, TrekCastTNG at gmail.com. Of course, the, the voicemail, 816-287-0448. Uh, you can email me at chat is wrong and tell me the shirt looks stupid. I don't care. So- <laughs> Are you going to tie-dye it? You know, my, my daughter does uh, tie dyeing of shirts. I bet it would look cool tie She ships them all over the place. It probably yeah. would be a good idea to tie dye this one, honestly, with like a black, just a little bit of black or gray tie dye. That might yeah. actually make this look pretty cool. Yeah. So I don't know. I might do that. Yeah. You can do I thought about color. getting out uh, the orange paint and doing lines on it like an L cars on it. Oh, yeah. Just for the hell of it. But whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything well, else? Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. We'll see you here next week. All right, guys. Have a good one. See ya. Well, there you have it. Another episode in the can. Check us out at trekcast.com. Also, if you would, please subscribe to us via iTunes. Leave those reviews. Subscribe to us. We'll get some numbers. Get up the list. Get more listeners. Do more shows. Have more fun. But for now, we're all done. So live long and prosper, and we'll see you next week.